Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks. I play every series of videos I've been doing for a little while. I go over there to try food and drink items. I eat stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I went the extra mile with this one. I went over there and looked up how to pronounce it correctly. Ha, ha, ha. But anyway, folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer out about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work. I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely the case today. I went over there. Uh, I was out of work, doing work stuff. Work, do work, 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 work. And when I went over there and finished, I decided to go over there and stop off at 7-Eleven because I hadn't been out there in a little bit. And I like 7-Eleven. It's a pretty nice establishment as establishments go. And uh, it's been good for the reviews, man. A lot of the stuff that I've reviewed over the years, you know, I'd say probably about a quarter of it has come from just going to 7-Elevens and seeing what they got on stock. So I'm perusing around looking, looking, you know, a couple things here and there. Nothing's jumping out at me, but... But then, well, folks, it looks like uh, 7-Eleven has decided to go over there and culturally appropriate another sandwich because what am I reviewing for you today? Well, boom, it's from 7-Eleven. It's their Caprese sandwich. The Caprese. I tried to, I looked, like I said, I looked up the thing. It's Caprese. Caprese. They're like, you know, I, don't, I can't quite put the stank on it the way that, like, the proper Italian folks would. Although I am a little Italian. Like, I'm, uh... Yeah, on my mom's side, like, I'm a little, little Sicilian, I think I want to say. So, man, I know, like, Sicilian in Italy, it's, like, a little bit of a thing, just, you know, stuff like that. But I think there's a little Italian on my mom's side. But, yeah, man, so, okay, sure, why the hell not? Um, I For all intents and purposes, I'm going to consider this a sub-sandwich review, I think. Because it's, like, I mean, it's kind of like a sub-sandwich. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not going to consider this a sub sandwich. This is going to be its own separate thing. It's a caprese sandwich. It is potato focaccia bread with fresh mozzarella, uh, oven roasted tomatoes, and basil pesto spread with arugula. I'm not going to consider it a sub because it's not really sub shaped. We're just going to call it a sandwich. So, I almost got in a cheap sub sandwich for you. By the way, I review sub sandwiches, so go watch those reviews. They tend to be some of my most popular. Let's open up the thing to get to the thing so that we can get to the thing. And we'll take a picture for the thumbnail. It'll be the sexiest day of our lives, folks. Which one's going to be... Alright, let's do this. And it's kind of... Yeah, like the basil isn't really in it. <laughs> it's like on the side of it. Can we... And then like get a little bit for the front so that we can like... I mean, yeah, I've, you know, I've seen... All right, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll say... We'll do a little... Th uh, no! <laughs> Why would you betray me? Go in the thing. Stay in the thing. Boom, it looks like this. It's, it's a sandwich. Can you see it? Ha 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 Something like that, multiple angles. Let's try out this Italian-ish sandwich. And the pronunciation bureau, they're like, oh, it's like the name of a famous salad. That's what you're probably most associated with. My fat ass was like, nope, <laughs> never heard of it. I heard of Caprese before, but, um, you know what? Basil definitely helps it. I mean, that's not bad, man. That's genuinely pretty damn tasty. So, like, 7-Eleven, you know, they have, like, pre-made sandwiches for sale. And they have, like, basic ones that they do. Like, they have, like, a roast beef sub, an Italian sub, which is... Um, you know, like a club stacker, a few things. But, like... A couple of years ago, they started every so often, they come out with like a special sub, right? You know? 
They did like a Diablo chicken sub or whatever. They decided that they were going to go over there and start just taking like things from other cultures and then trying to recreate them in a 7-Eleven sort of uh, scope, if you will. So, like, we ended up, like, they did a, a banh mi sandwich inspired after the famous uh, Vietnamese banh mi. Which, by the way, I reviewed actual banh mi sandwiches. Go look up those reviews. Those are fucking fantastic. But, 7-Eleven did their own variant of that, right? And then, what was, uh, not too long, well, I say that, but I think it was, like, probably a few months ago now. Uh, they did a torta, you know, working off the, you know, famous Mexican sandwiches. Uh... So this is, like, their attempt at, like, an Italian sandwich thing. I will say this. For one thing, I don't know if this sandwich exists outside of a 7-Eleven context. Because, like I said, I didn't even know the damn thing was a salad. So, I don't know if anybody else has ever deconstructed the salad and put it between bread and had that be a sandwich before. If they haven't... I have to give 7-Eleven credit for that. If they have, I would imagine that version of it is probably better than 7-Eleven's, but theirs ain't bad. It's actually really tasty. Um, it's probably the outright freshest tasting sandwich I've ever had from 7-Eleven. Uh, and I think a lot of that just comes down to the veg. You know, the thing is, like, veg in a pre-made sandwich is always dicey. But, you know, it's simple stuff. It's like, all right, we got a little tomato, a little basil, and then they got, you know, some pesto, and then just, you know, some mozzarella. Again, it's not the tastiest version of what this could ever be, but the pesto actually tastes nice. You know, it tastes, you know, pretty fresh for what it is. It's maybe not quite as vibrant as, you know, like the proper stuff, but um, I like the, the, the tomatoes taste good. You know, they've got some nice, you know, I think I'm... It's got to be like a roasted thing, right? Oven roasted tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I can fully believe that because they've got that nice, uh, that nice, you know, kind of burst of flavor. And, you know, if any part of it is maybe a little bit lacking, maybe the mozzarella isn't doing quite as much as it could with like, again, like a really proper mozzarella. But, you know, it's still in there. It's kind of acting almost like the protein surrogate, if you will. And... The basil, as much as it was off to the side in the container, I will say I think that the basil needs to be there. Without it, it's still okay, but it does. It just kind of livens it up just a, that, just that little bit extra. I genuinely came into this thinking that this was just going to be a complete throwaway and honestly kind of ridiculous on uh, 7-Eleven's end to attempt something like this. But no, nah, man, this is good. There's like actively it's tasty it tastes fresh and there's like nothing bad about it worst you can say is it's not the best version of what this could be that's it and i got it 7-eleven so fucking obviously but two questions have to be asked would i get it again would i recommend it call me fucking nuts yes and yes you know when 7-Eleven does these special sandwiches, it's typically a little bit of a mixed bag. Some of them have been pretty good, like the Diablo chicken sandwich. I wish they would have kept that around. I like that one. The banh mi that they came up with wasn't a great representation of a banh mi, but it wasn't a terrible sandwich. The torta was not fantastic, though. I, You know what? I am genuinely happy that 7-Eleven keeps doing these little things. It's kind of fun, plus it gives me the opportunity to do a little review. And in instances like this, it's like, well, no, it's it's tasty. I genuinely am looking forward to eating the rest of this. If I'm recommending it, I mean, look, folks, like I said, I obviously don't have a lot of experience with the Caprese whole thing. So I'm not going to tell you, if you're the foremost expert on Caprese salads or sandwiches or whatever, that you need to run out and get I'm not doing that. But if you're like me, and, you know, you're just a guy who, you know, you shop at convenience stores, and, you know, sometimes you work odd hours and stuff, and you like having some occasional new options, this is a good one. It's tasty, it's filling, 
It doesn't, I was a little bit worried with it not really having like a proper protein to go off of, but like I said, the mozzarella kind of works in that capacity and I don't feel like I'm being gypped. It actually tastes proper. So yeah, I would recommend it. Call me crazy. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Money men for the rest of your month. Dependent for the rest of your folks. Go over there. Have yourselves a truly caprice tastic rest of your life. Again, hopefully you can properly put the stank on it that it deserves. Just get that little something extra. Italian, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, Italian and like other, you know, languages and stuff like that. It's always so cool to like hear people, you know, who actually like can pronounce it properly and stuff. You know, because it's like me, like I, I live in the Midwest, you know, so it's like, whatever accent I might have, and I, I like to think I really don't have much of an accent, because it's like I try to just, you know, but I, you know, everybody has their own little kind of regional thing. So it's like, in, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but what you do if you can't do all time, I know I can't do all time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit. And folks, sometimes we just have to deal with that. And I was at work. I was uh, helping out a guy, co-worker. I was kind of, you know, training him a little bit and everything. And he got real flustered a couple times, you know. He's a good dude, but like he just, he gets, doesn't take a lot for him to start kind of losing his shit a little bit. And I had to go to him. I had to be like, you know. And that's the thing, folks, because when we deal with situations like that, it's important we go over there, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, if you are the foremost Caprize expert in the world, please, by all means, hit me up in the comments. Let me know all about it. I would love to learn. I'm not a salad person typically, but that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy the things and the stuff. Plus, if the flavors are good, who gives a shit? Um, and for anybody who isn't the foremost expert in Capri's, you know, you, you can still chime in and stuff. And hey, here, answer this question for me if you watch my videos. What accent do it, does it, uh, do I come off as having? Does it, do I have a pronounced accent? I don't know. It all just sounds the same to me in my head. So, I'd be interested in that. Yeah. Or conversely, you could probably do something better with your time, but eh, if you want to. Bye!